Hello ladies and gentlemen, Front Stack here and welcome to a Hot Seat Overview Order Vote. Now, it's been many, many months since I've done anything related to a Hot Seat Overview. Last Hot Seat Overview video I made was four months ago. One before that, eight months ago. And the ones before that, over a year ago. So, <laughs> uh, every time I <laughs> make a Hot Seat Overview, I decide to bugger off and just never carry on. But, um, yeah. <laughs> this... I'm going to finally try and get my shit together and actually get these done. There's, there's a fuck ton of them. Um, some wrapped up a few uh, few days ago, actually. Um, so, adds to my growing list. <laughs> um, yeah, so, because of the growing list, amount of hot seat overviews I've got to do, um, I figured it's fitting that we do like a sort of hot seat overview actual vote. To, we are, we're going to cover them all, don't worry. But um, I figured it'd be a good idea to see which sort of order people would like me to play these in. So naturally, the highest voted option will be the one we do immediately. Maybe not immediately, but certainly sooner than the last times I've said we're going to do some hot series reviews. Watch it turn to 12 months, you watch. <laughs> um, and then obviously the lowest voted option will be the one we do last, naturally. Um, <laughs> so yes, notice vote, um, well, this video will be up tomorrow, which is the, which will be the first, e first day, the 14th, and then this will be, re but the vote itself will expire, um, a week from then, so the 21st, 6pm. Um, and so, so when that, so when the vote ends, that'll be sort of when I'll look into doing a video on one of, whichever's, whichever's in the lead, I suppose. Um... Now, as someone will no doubt exploit, you can vote for multiple options. When I say exploit, I'm talking about you, Swan. I know you're watching this, you bastard. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's no, no, no doubt, definitely going to click on every single option and vote for it. You watch him. It, it, it do a funny little message in the Discord. You watch him. Um, for those who are unfamiliar with Hot Seats, Hot Seats are essentially Medieval 2's version of multiplayer campaigns, um, except differ in a difference to newer Total War games, you can actually... You can play as every single faction, whereas in, uh, isn't Warhammer 3, can't you play as eight factions or something? Or, or earlier ones you could play as four, or I think, it wasn't there one where you could play four factions and I think another you could play two? Um, yeah, it's been two for a while and I think Warhammer, they brought in this eight player co-op thing, which, uh, is interesting. I doubt I'll ever play it, but, <laughs> but it's cool. Um, but it doesn't quite surpass Medieval 2's hot seats in terms of playing every single faction. Um, when a future Total War title brings in the ability to play as every single faction, then, well, that would be different. Um, but, but um, obviously there's a limit in Medieval 2 Total War. You can't get any more than 31 factions, and the 31st being Rebels, and 30 usually being a script faction, depending on what you're playing. So hot seats is something that I host on my Discord. Um, many of you will be familiar with it. For those who are not, then, well, I'll try and do my best to explain. Hotsies are sort of like, his, uh, it's very very much like a tournament thing on the chat on the Discord. We have our own little history guild where we have, like, the different uh, factions and kingdoms you can be a part of. Um, we have various different members who are leaders of those different factions. Some, and we have, like, little information about them. You've got the elves, mages, men, dwarves, etc. You've got, you can get certain points about Getting certain hot seats, if you win a hot seat, you get um, 75. You win a yearly Kings War hot seat, which is essentially like a big 4v4, v4, v4. Um, you can get other points if you stay to the end of the hot seat. So if you st join the hot seat and then stay all the way to the end, you get some extra points, uh, which is really just to encourage people staying in them, really. Um, Vassalizing the faction will score you 25 points. It's very often that most players tend to just kill factions, but if you manage to vassalize them, then I will reward you. Um, if you destroy a player-controlled faction, so say if Gondor takes out Mordor, not pointing at anyone, <laughs> uh, you get 50 points. Um, assists don't count. So say if like, you help in killing Mordor, if Gondor strikes the final blow, then they get the points. Or vice versa, Mordor kills Rune, or, or England kills France, or Germany takes out Norway, or I don't know. Um, and then, of course, if you win a hot seat with other people, then your points will get divided. So, if, say, if you win a hot seat, like, with, say, England and France, your points will be divided by uh, 75 divided 2, which is 37.5. So, <laughs> that's sort of how it works. So, it is 
in a way encourages people to win to get win on your own because you'll get more points but if you win with people your points will get split up but it's how it's fair uh, you have this archives which basically explains who's in what who's part of the stag guard who's part of the dwarfs men majors elves um past high ranking members uh, people that were part of the server but have since left and that's sort of just a little memorial i suppose i <laughs> uh, got the scoreboard so that shows you the points and who's in the lead so you can as you can see the majors of the south are in the lead right now and to reflect that they are sort of higher in the server ranking order dawson second elves below and then men at the bottom because they haven't got enough points um <laughs> um majors are really surpassing everybody right now <laughs> I got the Hero Shrine, which is where I announce the end of each hot seat. So right now I see, as you can see, that I ended the um, Espana AR hot seat. I just did a war recently as well. That was last month. So that's why I sort of announced the ending of all hot seats. Currently, right now, there's not many on the go. Mainly because I'm working quite late shifts at the moment. Uh, from 9 in the morning till like 7. Till, well, I don't finish at 7. I get home at like 7. And by that point... I can't really bother doing anything else. <laughs> I might fit in a few videos now and again, now and there, but I don't, I'm not going to do loads. Um, and some days I might just not be bothered. Um, the current hot seat we've got on the go is the War of the Ring hot seat, which is a divide and conquer hot seat right now, which is amazing. Um, something we're doing in hot seats is actually making it so that players control two factions. Because if we were to get a full full house for divide, for this hot seat for divide and conquer we'd need a total of 26 players plus three for admins or whatever and 26 players yeah no <laughs> unlikely i mean maybe later down the line if the channel and discord expands massively but even then i severely doubt it because we'd have players dropping out now and again and all that and yeah so yeah, <laughs> we're we're, we're rolling the two players for two factions for each pl for player player for each for ah a player for two factions. That, that's the word I'm looking for, or words I'm looking for. Um, and there's a map of the divine. If no one's ever heard of divine, I mean, if you haven't heard divine and conquer, I don't know where you've been. I don't know. I don't know how long you've been under that rock for. <laughs> and then we have got another hot seat, which is set in the War of the Usurper slash Robert's Rebellion mod, which is a mod made by Saw Games Inc. Thank you to him. And in this, actually, everyone's controlling because there's not that many players. is isn't that many factions, so you can sort of just easily go with most players. But I think in future, maybe we're looking to doing some hot seats with two factions because it just makes it much quicker. The, the, the I mean, the speed of the turns has been so quick. I mean, this is... I mean, I'm, I mean in future, yes, the speed isn't particularly fast. But if we were to go through, like, getting players to play every single faction, it would take absolutely ages. And that way, we've, we've got through turns. So, it's actually pretty quick. We've got 30th of June was when we started it. And we're at 11th of June. Uh, wait, was that? Yeah, 11th of June. 11th of July, not June. Wrong, wrong place. 11th of July, and we're, we've got Destro to play, and I think he's going to play soon. And he's got Destro, he's got this turn, then he's going to do that turn. And then Redhead King's got his turn. He's going to do that, and then we'll be back up to turn two in no time. So it's really quick, and I like it. Um, so War of Usurper, that's a fun hot seat. Uh, Game of Thrones is always fun. It's always fun hot seat material. And then the Kingdom's War hot seat, which... Um, thank <laughs> Potato made this really cool map when it loads. It made this really cool map, which shows who's in the different... And that's actually... <laughs> that's outdated, because I've renamed the uh, factions now, but it doesn't matter. But so, I pick a bunch of factions at random, and then we... And then a bunch of them are chosen. A uh, bunch of them are put into, like, those, into what different categories. If you watch the faction draw I did like in January, then you'll know. Um, I'll go up and show. So they've got, they have got they also picked their own little names. So the Dwarves picked Infernal Dogs. Uh, Men of the West picked Rise of Rahiram. Uh, Majors picked Pink Potatoes. <laughs> and LZ's picked Pastor and Blood, which is cool. <laughs> and then you got uh, more. Then you got the people that are playing and it also tells you if like say if certain faction have died dead next to their name um if like say there's it's like someone's died oh, that was a fly in my room brilliant um if say destro was playing denmark well that faction's dead now so it doesn't matter but if destro died um if destro uh, um if destro stopped playing then juan took over then juan is slashed next to it um and then say if someone's left but it's still i mean technically this is live because tim Eric actually is playing that's a better example. So say if Han stopped playing, uh, then AMO is currently subbing. Which I'm pretty sure is wrong now, because I'm pretty sure Han played the turn. 
Maybe. I could be wrong. Web. Um, I'm going to quickly check. While I'm here, and I'll also do put in some detail like who the different leaders of the factions are, but I'm probably not going to do that because it just takes way too much time. And time is not something I have these days, I'm afraid. Um, work is just so busy. I just don't have the time to do most of the things I love um, these days. But there you go. And also, uh, say, say if it's a team hot, so you get your own little group chat. So the good factions have their own group, group chat in the Dakot too. Evil factions have theirs. Uh, Baraf the people on the Baraf inside of their own. The people on the Targaryen side of their own. People on the, uh, say, say for Infernal Dogs, they have their own little thing. I put little emojis around. Yeah. Emojis is a nice little theme to the channel. I just like doing it. I don't know why. Um, but there you go. Uh, more on to the actual poll itself. So this is so obviously the link to this is in the description of this video. So go below, just scroll down. There it is. Link is right there. Bang. There you go. Um, yeah, <laughs> vote whichever whichever you like. Uh, of course, you can vote for multiple options. Uh, if it says the ties to save Last Kingdom and America's two is like tying, then I just pick between them because otherwise I'll be I'm not gonna do like another vote because I'd just be stupid. <laughs> So I'll talk a little bit about the hot seats. So, and I've sort of done this few in order. So this is all, it's all down here. Uh, once I've done, I'm going to put them into like an archive. So I'll take like the screenshots channel or the submission channel. Um, I've actually merged the submission and screenshot, screenshots channel into one. Uh, where you see in some other channels, I'd have more than one. I'd have um, information playlist into submission regulation hall. Screenshot discussion into like multiple different channels and now I've sort of just merged them together. So when the time comes for an archive, I can just put them into one. So you can see there's turns and the screenshots, which is perfect. Um and that's where the war for six kings is gone. Which I've noticed actually is missing a emoji, which oh well, I'll fix that at some point. But that's where the hot seats will go. But once I've done the hot seat reviews for all of them, then I'll go and stick them into the stick them into I'm gonna stick this in there. Um, stick them into the archive channels when the time comes. That um, channel just saw is related to the RP hot seat. Um, because your boy made a separate sort of channel where it goes through everything. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm in that. Once I've done with that video, I'll probably just leave that to server because there's no point in me being there. Um, so let's talk a bit about the hot seat. It's got the Revenge of the Vikings. So I've given them my own little names. There was a time, and if you may remember, for those... Uh, um, people that were on the channel for a while. You may remember I didn't have a name for most of these different hot seats. They were just Britannia 1, America's 1, Crusades 1, and then so forth. Um, but I've actually given them names. So Revenge of the Vikings is a Last Kingdom hot seat. So that was the Last Kingdom mod. We use a separate one. I'm pretty sure I don't even have that mod installed. <laughs> Wait, let me check. I'm pretty sure it's gone. Oh. Maybe it's still there. No, I don't know. No, okay. Yeah, no, it is still there. So Google Drive stays forever because I'm pretty sure I've deleted that. So that was a long time ago. I mean, that was 16th of August 2020. So, yeah. Long time ago. So, for those who are familiar, Last Kingdom is a mod set in the Viking Age. And we did the hot seat on that, which is quite enjoyable. I'm giving you spoilers, aren't I, really? But it's kind of impossible to, <laughs> to not do that. <laughs> yeah, that is a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I, mean, I can't regret I don't want to spoil them too much, so I won't go through them on the channels, but yeah uh colliding worlds is in america's hot seat so a second one that we did um i've sort of stopped with the kingdom's hot seat. i did so many that i've just burnt myself out of them maybe we'll come back and do a few later on with some different mods but we'll see and um, there was one i came across which is the britannia and teutonic which merges the dlc into one map which is really cool i like it uh, <laughs> which i think it's really cool <laughs> um fuck I, I spoiled it again you know what let's just not even bother with this let's just delete this just take this off goodbye okay so, so Revenge of the Vikings, Last Kingdom mod, America's, which is America's hot seat. Uh, War in the Baltic, which is the Teutonic 3 hot seat, which is the third version of the Teutonic I made, which is actually with a enhanced Teutonic patch that I put on mod DB. But the main mod itself was made by Murgle, and I think Azeroth helped out, I think. Uh, third Crusade is the Crusades 5. So we've had so many fucking Crusades hot seats, ridiculous. We've had, this is the fifth one. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, the Third Crusade is a sub-mod that's I think Murgle made again for the Crusades mod uh, DLC, which sets us in the Third Crusade time period, which is pretty cool. A little unbalanced, um, which you'll see when the time comes, but you'll see. Uh, War of Ice and Fire, which is an Age of Petty Kings hot suit, which is an Age of Petty Kings sub-mod for Westeros Total War. 
Um, it's quite a fun little play has a lot of factions. And I think we tried to go for mostly everybody playing the faction. I think some of them were. I think a few were AI and a few... Yeah, a few were AI because we didn't quite get everyone. But we did, did our best. <laughs> and uh, we did we really tried. And I think that's the effort is what counts. Um, but I think if we were to do that again, we'd definitely go for like uh, two, two, um, two factions for one player. Or one player for two factions. I don't really know the correct way to say it. But anyway... Uh, Age of Pair Kings, Hot Suit, that's a fun one. Age of Rebellion is the Ice and Fire Total War beta version of the Blackfire Rebellion. Uh, we're still waiting on a full release from that mod, and when that will happen, I don't know. Because that beta was released like 2019, so I, uh, from what I gather, they're still working on the mod. It's just taking a fucking while. Um, as is as modding is in general, it's a very time-consuming thing, especially as people do it for a hobby, not a full-time job. Which I think some people tend to forget. Ice and Fire Total War is obviously set in the Blackfire Rebellion, where the Targaryens fought against the Blackfires because the Blackfires thought they were more had more right to the throne than the actual Targaryens, because Aegon the Fourth bestowed upon his bastard son Daemon Blackfire um, the actual Valyrian steel sword of House Targaryen, which is called Blackfire, hence where he got the name of the Blackfires and so on. Uh, next is the Eternal Kingdoms, which is a stainless steel late era hot seat. Stainless steel is a token, token version mod of Mabel 2 Total War. It's essentially what Mabel 2 Remastered would or should be. Um, not, not anything like the Abomination of Rome Remastered. I don't know what the fuck that was. But, <laughs> but, but we'll, we'll move on. We're not talking about that. We'll save that for um, another time, I suppose. <laughs> um, so yeah, stainless steel. Uh, great mod, fantastic mod. Um, obviously he's late era hot seat, quite an old hot seat now, but it's very, very memorable one. Um, the Espanol. So we did two versions of the Espanol uh, Middle Ages mod. Uh, one which was a sort of a manual resolve. So in hot seats you can sort of choose between manual resolve or uh, auto resolve only a hot seat. Um, in newer hot seats it it very much depends on why I'm playing. If it's like a Westeros hot seat, it's usually made for auto resolve. If it's a manual resolve hot seat, then it's to save like third age stack. That's a good one for manual resolve. That's probably what you should do. Um, you should probably do manual resolve for DAC because it's, but you have a lot of units that are kind of overpowered, such as Moomakill, Great Beasts, um, Army of the Dead, which I don't think they can get. Um, I don't think you can get the hot seat. If so, Danny Alex is going to have an absolute filled day as a new day. And if he can get fucking hands on his, if he can get some hands on the um, bloody Oprekers, he's going to fuck Mordor easily. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Hispania, Hispanian Peninsula was the Mana Resolve hot seat. That's the one with the Mana Resolve, uh, Mana Resolve version. Um, there was another America's hot seat we did, which is a sort of a team-based one with the colonial factions versus the um, natives, which is actually, we actually used a mod which add in Portugal, England, and France as playable factions. So as you can imagine, they appeared in the hot seat. Um, so that's quite a cool one. Uh, Age of Empires, Lucium Total War 2.5, which is a very, very old hot seat. One of the first ever hot seats I ever made in, so it's gonna be very, it's very old. Got like turn sixty something, I think it was. Can't quite remember. Very old hot seat. Um, Lucium Total War is a mod set in the 18th century. It's still a mod that is going on now. I used to be part of the development team, but I left for personal reasons a while back. I'm still in good faith with the development team, somewhat. So no, no hard feelings or anything. Um, but yes, Lucium Total War is still going on now. It's a fantastic mod, and I've covered it a few times on the channel before. Not recently, so I will have to at some point return to it, but all in good time. Uh, War of the Gods is a Rome one hot seat, which is a which is a sub mod that I think Jimmy used who to basically make Rome one Total War as for hot seat. Um, we were talking about doing a fourth age Total War one with the fourth age mod for Rome one, which you might look into doing at some point, uh, which I think will be quite enjoyable. Rome one hot seats are fairly fun and a bit different to many of two, and that's sort of a that's I'd save that for. Them. An announcement video, I suppose, and how different they are. But it's different. But that Rome 1 hot seat was just set in a normal time period the game is set in. So around the times where the Rome had various different houses, um, the barbarians were still in full, and Seleucids were like a massive empire. I don't know massive amounts of Rome 1 in the ancient period. I'm not... I'm more well-versed in the medieval time period, not so much the ancient... Uh, ancient... The antiquity period, I suppose. Um, but that's the Rome 1. Age of Total War is a custom campaign to Hot Seat. Custom campaign 2 is a sub mod from Able to Total War, which essentially makes loads of different little campaigns, and it's sort of a mod where I'd have to show and explain. I can't really explain it, 
um, by talking about it. It's sort of something I just have to show. Um, so we would save that for another video. But that's a mod where we played with every single faction playable. There was a as a sub mod, there's a sub campaign it has, which is like makes the Timurids, Mongols, Aztecs, and Papal States all playable factions and balances them out for them to be actually playable on the game. So or in the game. So it's such a it's a, it's a very cool one. We had pretty much every single player, everyone playing the faction, so it was very cool. Uh, Realm and Chaos, which is another one of the Spanian Middle Ages hot seats. This was auto resolve, so very interesting. Um, and next, of course, and some people obviously recognize this mod. This is a mod that I've covered before on the channel, and we did an actual campaign on it. Um, but I've done campaigns on a few of these before, so that's, that's not um, quite. Uh, let's not let's not be too harsh. We've done campaigns on some of these before. Um, so Turmoil and Middle Earth was a Third Age 4.0 hot seat. Third Age 4.0 is the unofficial continuation of Third Age 3.2, which is a mod from Third Age Total War, which came out about 10 years ago at least, probably more than that. Um, and Third Age 4.0 is a very cool little sub mod, and I think it's done wonders. And there's, there's, there's been quite a few, I think it's on this like, um, what update is it? Is it 4.5 now, I think it is? There's had quite a few updates since the last I covered it. But obviously that mod is going to be that that hot seat there was on the the first version he put out, so it's changed quite a bit since then. Um, the Age of Diplomacy is an, is a role playing Errors Total War Congress hot seat, which was conjured up by your boy. It's quite a fantastic hot seat. Um, I think your boy was talking about carrying it on. I don't think he was going to carry it on in my server. I don't know where he was going to do it, but he's going to carry it on some form somewhere else. So I probably won't be involved in that project. So what he'd do with that, I don't know. Uh, getting in contact with him is the best way to know future information. Um, as it won't be on my Discord, um, I have no interest in really doing it. Um, any hot seats that aren't really on my Discord, I'm not all that bothered about. I don't really care for... Um, obviously, I care, but I don't care for setting up hot seats on other Discords. I, I have my own Discord. I'm going to do it on my own Discord. I'm not going to put up a video on fucking... I'm not going to make a hot seat for the hot seat hub, but I can just put it on my own Discord. It just seems pointless. Um, but that's quite a cool one. Eros Total War Conquest is like this massive mod that has like a world map. It's a bit condensed, but it's still quite cool. It's a massive world map, and it's like an Age of Diplomacy. Uh, yeah, so it's it's all diplomacy based, very heavily role play. Role play is a massive part of that mod. There's a hell of a lot of backstory in that uh, hot seat, so that'll take me a while to put that video together. But it's very cool. Um, but yes, that pretty much brings us to the end. Oh, good lord, 22 minutes. Ah. 22 minutes. When can I ever make a short four-minute video? <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, dear. One day I will make a very short... One day... It depends on the video, I suppose. I haven't done one of these in ages, but if it's like a video where like a faction vote, I can pretty much do that in like four minutes. Um, I've yet to actually prove that, but one day we'll do it. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Um, link to the, link to the poll is in the description of the video. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to add, really. Um, not really. I think I might be doing something related. I mean, you're going to have the... Um, as most videos I've been recording lately have been all pretty much uh, in the in pre-recording stages. So naturally, things that I've said that, I, that only have just come to light recently. So... Some things to note, uh, the Kazadum series is probably going to end fairly soon. I'm going to probably capture Latash, Ma uh, Mount Graham, and Khan Doom, and that'll wrap the series up. I've no desire to carry it on. I'm not all that bothered. I want to focus on other games and campaigns. So that is that series will be ending fairly soon. Um, I'm still going to still gonna play around with it, though. I'm going to build up my economy and I just have a load of fun with it, and then I'll probably round it off with the final stages of battle with Angmar, and then once I've done with Ang, once I've taken those three regions slash settlements, that'll be the end. I'm also looking to start up a Free Peoples of Eridor campaign, which of course won the faction vote last time around, um, when we did one. So that's coming soon, sooner rather than later. Um, the faction vote I set up like two months ago. But yes, that's a series that I'm hopefully going to be starting fairly soon. I still need to do a slight bit of modding for it, but that'll hopefully come out. I've currently put a, a current delay on the of the planned co-op series I was doing with a few of YouTubers. I just don't have the time to really put it together. So for the time being, I'm just gonna have to leave it, leave it festering, <laughs> leave it festering yeah, in the channels that we made for it in the little group chat we made. At some point, I'll put it together hopefully. But why I'm doing, why I'm working till 6:30 most days at work, 
not I'm not gonna really have time for it. I'm too busy with other projects. Um today is a day where I'm off, so that's fine. Um and hopefully we we will have to, uh, it's gonna be six closes at my work for a while. So so I'll be coming home at seven most days I'm at work, which is of a ball wake, but there you go. I, I need to think of the money. That's the way to look at it. Uh, look on the bright side of life, and money is certainly going to help. Uh, but anyway, um, that's the bright side of life. Um, I was going to say September is when I sort of go back to the four and five finishes at work to start. So I might have a bit more time for it then, but we'll see. Um, I've sort of finished recording. I'm not finished it completely, but I've got to a point in the Lego Hobbit series where I'm going to stop for a bit and probably play another game. I did say a while back I set up like this uh, mod vote, uh, this sort of wheel spinner thing for like what game you play. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to like play. I'm just going to do a vote to decide what people want me to play rather than just doing like a wheel spinner because by the it takes me a long time to play these games. So it just seems right for me to actually do a proper vote rather than it being okay let's just let's just like do a wheel spinner and by that point I'm not really counting many people's opinions so I'd rather just do a vote every time you play a new game or a new sort of campaign so that's what I'm going to do um rather than doing the wheel spinner we will just do a natural vote so you'll probably see that fairly soon um or it may just start playing the game that I want to play but we'll see um, we'll see in that regard. But anyway, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. I thought I'd give you a slight little update towards the end. Just because I haven't really spoke much about the future of the channel. I'm sure some people probably will be interested. For those that aren't, then you're... Uh, why are you here? <laughs> That's the question. If you're not interested in the channel, then why are you here? Um, on good things... Which I can show, actually. I'll quickly round off. We did hit 900 subscribers a while back. Did I mention that? I think I did. Uh, 29th of October. October? What? June. Um, and yes, we're currently at 924, which is quite the milestone. As suspected, my, the, and also this is partly why many in the Kazadoom series, the views aren't particularly, well, they're good, but they're not, they're not, they're not really, not many people are particularly interested. I mean, the channel videos were, before, were getting like 100 and something views of video for Kazadoom, and now it's sort of just dropped down massively. <laughs> so I'm sort of, there's probably it, it's probably partly my fault for all the breaks and recordings and breaks and on the channel. It hasn't helped, but um, oh well. Um, as for the Lego Hobbit series, I don't really care. I'm enjoying it, so I'm gonna continue to record it and upload it. I know the views on those games won't be as popular as Total War stuff, but I'm not bothered. They're they're games. I want to play some games for fun, and that's what I'm doing. If they're not as popular as certain videos, and so be it. Whatever, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I can I. Yeah, there was a time where I cared about views for YouTube, but that time has gone, and it's been gone for a very long time. I'm just not bothered. I'm going to play for fun, and that's how the channel is going to carry on. If you don't like that, then bugger off. <laughs> so I can say, bugger off. Thank you very much. You, your time is great, but if you're not interested in the channel, then all I can say is, well, there's the door. Go out the door. <laughs> uh as, uh, as I was watching from Araki Galadir from here, was mentioned that he's just... I love his sort of uh, free nature to YouTube, where he's sort of like... He doesn't care about his... Uh, he's, he's free to express his opinion. And I absolutely agree. I mean, yeah, some people will probably denounce him and myself, probably, if I carry on in that sort of way. But I think being... I think a lot of people in YouTube and a lot of people just in general are just scared to be, to be who they are. And I just think that's a shit way to live. <laughs> and I'm not living like that, thank you very much. I'm going to fucking express my opinions as I much, as much as I like. Obviously, I'll, I won't go into too many details. I'm not going to go into, like, fucking political shit. I don't, I'm not bothered about that. I mean, maybe I partly am bothered, but I'm not going to go into detail about it on the video. Watch me, I will. I definitely will one day. One day, I'm going to have a rant about political stuff, and you're going to love it. Um, if you don't, again, there's the door use it <laughs> but well yes um tangent aside let's just end this video now thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are looking forward to the hot seat overviews and yes by the way um once i've done all these hot seat overviews so maybe over the course of a few weeks maybe i'll try and aim to do them like every two weeks or something we'll see and um, so when we're done with these videos when we're done with the hot seat overviews i'm going to move on to doing some mod showcases so our mods like elder scrolls total war we'll probably do some we do a campaign overview. We'll probably remaster the campaign overview and install guide I made a while back. 
do a few like sort of tournament unit a unit tournament thing that I was thinking of a while back. Um, I definitely do some faction overviews. I think that's definitely warranted. Um, I definitely will be doing some for DAC version five when that releases. Um, as I know, a lot of people have been calling out for faction overviews since um, Galu left, or since Galu has announced he's leaving, and also confirmed that he's not doing version five of faction overviews. So I feel like it's only right that I carry on the mantle. I've done faction overviews before, so many. I did some for the Lucian Turtle War um, YouTube channel a while back. Um, but it's about time that I sort of come along and it's about time that I take up the mantle and start making them for other mods as well. And that's what I shall do. Um, in terms of how the mods will work, I'd probably do like my own little mod vote for that. So similar to this, I mean votes is just basically how I've rolled my life. Um, so you'll probably have mods for that. And so you'll have like a mod to choose between Elder Scrolls, DAC, DCI, Third Age 4.5 or whatever version it is by then. And some and to Sardom's Total War Stainless Steel, so on. You'll get loads of different, you'll get um, a big mod list, and then you'll just pick between what you want, and then I'll cover that. Now, what I'll do is say if DAC wins, I'll cover DAC for like a good m three months or so until I've done, so I've finished the install guides, campaign overviews, faction overviews, so on. Until I'm done with DAC, with the mod showcases, campaigns is different, I'll do them as and when. But once I've done showcasing DAC as much as I can, I'll do another mod vote and then we'll, carry, then we'll start with a new mod. We'll see. But that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and um, have a wonderful evening as well. Have a, have a just, just have a fantastic day. Just have a brilliant day. Um, just If you're not having a good day so far, then um, go do something you want to do. If you can't do something you want to do, then um, I, I have no idea I can help. But <laughs> but just just have a great day. I hope you're having a smashing day nonetheless. And just if it's not a great day so far, then hopefully it gets better. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and farewell.